It is Friday night, February 9th. We welcome you inside H.H. Dow High School for girls basketball as the Midland High Chemics make the trip across town to take on the Dow High Chargers. It's a, uh, well, it's a great night inside. It's not a great day outside. Roads are a little uh, on the mushy side, but inside we've got great basketball action. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight the rematch between the Chemics and the Chargers. These two teams met in December where the Midland and High Kimmicks pulled off a victory over right Dow two. High. Now we get to do it all again. A couple of differences this time around for the Dow High Chargers. One, Coach Kyle Tyson is here. He will, he missed the first game. He's back. And the second thing is also back. A couple of Charger players, Maisie Taylor and Haley Thank Jaster. You. And Maisie Taylor really gives the Chargers a real boost. Right, now, Haley uh, is new to the Charger yes. program. Uh, but we know exactly what Maisie is going to give us. <laughs> that, that we do, and you know, Maisie Taylor returned in, in January. She's only played a couple of games. Kyle Tyson is limiting her minutes, but tonight she's coming in, and she's been anticipating playing here tonight. And she plays point guard, and she is she's really somebody that Molly Davis uh, can rely on. And also with, with Haley Jaster. Uh, that, that gives Dow a presence on the inside, being six foot one. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to start Haley, but uh, she, she really gives them uh, a little bit of size. Yeah, both of these teams coming into this game anticipating this contest. This is the, the battle for kind of the second tier in the Saginaw Valley. Everybody seems to be chasing Saginaw Heritage. We'll talk about that momentarily. But right now, let's turn things over to our public address announcer as we prepare for girls basketball on MCTV.
the starting lineup, and we are set to go. High school basketball on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. The Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers at a game that will benefit coaches versus cancer. That was what the orange shirt that the players were wearing during warm-ups being sold with all the proceeds benefiting the coaches versus cancer. Dow High in their home white uniforms. Midland High making their way onto the court now wearing their visiting blue uniform. Dow High Chargers under coach Kyle Tyson. A distinctively different lineup than the first time we saw Dow High play. Molly Davis, Maisie Taylor, Haley Chester, Jada Garner, and Alyssa Kepner. All underclassmen on the floor for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High counters for the Jordan Phillips, Jenny Grinwis, Hannah Smith, Anna Tuck, and Maddie Berry. Two seniors on the floor for Midland High, and the Kimmicks have the ball to begin the contest with Hannah Smith, one of those seniors, working the ball over to Anna Tuck. Now back to Smith, crossing to Maddie Berry at the top of the key. Bad Berry with a couple of dribbles before passing back to Hannah Smith. Three-point shot by Smith is off the mark. Haley Jaster, the transfer student from Bullet Creek, will get the rebound and looking to go coast to coast with Maisie Taylor, the junior, blocked underneath. Midland High will come back. Anna Tuck looking to go coast to coast, and she cannot get the bucket to fall. Maddie Berry with the rebound. Back out to Jenny Grinwis. Her shot is off the mark. Kimmicks may be uh, shooting about, about three <laughs> air balls in a row for Midland High shooting-wise. That's not what you want to see if your first-year coach, Jaden Globes. Well, they're uh, certainly not shy, are they? On the other end, junior Molly Davis able to work the baseline and the first basket after a somewhat sloppy beginning to this game falls by the junior, Molly Davis, who had a great game the last time these two teams met. Okay, now we're watching Dow in a zone, so they're starting. Midland is uh, recognized that now. And they're starting to kind of spread out and get some spacing and look for some better shots. Maddie Berry from the top of the key. Better shot, but it does not fall. And the now high charges. Alyssa Kepner, the sophomore, able to bring down the rebound. Davis had 19 points for the Chargers in the first game that was won by Midland High. And that score was, uh, I believe, 49 to 37. Midland High led the entire way of that contest. Not the case here tonight because Dow High scored that first bucket. The freshman, Gardner, working the basketball. Jada Gardner, now that Davis and ja or now that Taylor and Jaster are back in the lineup, Jada Gardner, that's going to benefit her immensely. I'm surprised that uh, Maisie doesn't have some kind of uh, a support on her, her knee, but uh, uh, she's playing uh, absolutely... Uh, Pain-free, obviously. Molly Davis at the top of the key. Fires back for a three-pointer. Count it. Davis hits the three from the top, and the Chargers jumping out to a 5 to nothing lead with 5.40 to go here in the opening period. First five points of the game going to the junior for the Dow High Chargers. Maddie Berry, three-pointer from the baseline. That shot is short. Battle for the rebound. Won by the Chargers again. Alyssa Kepner. 5'10", sophomore has done a great job under the boards early. Davis thought about the shot, now gives it to Garner. Garner with a long three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Hannah Smith. Kimmick working over to Anna Tuck. Now back to Maddie Berry. Berry being guarded by Taylor. And that almost, that will lead to a steal. Chargers come away with the ball. Molly Davis feeds it out. Nice pass by Davis to Maisie Taylor. Three-pointer is no good. Perfect position for the rebound. For the Dow High Chargers is Hallie Jaster. She's on the board. Jaden Globes wants a timeout. It is all Chargers in the first two minutes and ten seconds of this game. Yeah, right now Dow's get, getting some putbacks. Uh, Jaster set herself up on the weak side, got the carom that went long, and she just put, put the ball up. Right now it's a matter of Midland High kind of get, getting their composure, uh, realizing that this game is going to go a lot longer. Uh, but they, they've got to get themselves settled on the offensive side. On the other side, there you take a look at uh, Kyle Tyson, who had uh, surgery back in December. That's why he missed uh, game number one. But now he is uh, back on the floor. And the Midland High Chemics, Jaden Globes, needing some answers early as one of their top scorers, Maddie Berry for Midland High, has been 0 for 4 in the first few minutes of this game. And that won't continue. She is a very, very uh, effective offensive player. But right now, she's kind of selling out for some longer shots. 
Midland High with the basketball after the timeout. Anna Tuck, we're trying to work it inside. Does so to Hannah Smith. Smith goes in the paint and ends up being blocked. Hallie Jaster coming up with the block, and the Dow High Chargers will feed it to Garner. Now works it back out as the Midland High gimmicks. Go back on defense, the now high Chargers. Nice move there, Molly Davis avoided the travel. Nice stop by, uh, by Davis, but the shot does not fall through. And currently right now, uh, Maddie Berry is, uh, is on the bench getting a chance to kind of watch things for a bit. Underneath, and the basket no good by Anna Tuck in the first foul of the game is going to go against the uh, Dow High Chargers as Molly Davis committing the foul. Maddie Berry is going to come back into the game, relieving Ashley Hills, who came in. I think Berry may have just needed a moment to regroup. As you mentioned, we know that uh, her going 0 for 4 is not going to continue too much longer. No, she's too good of an outside shooter. She also has the ability to post up. 7 to nothing in favor of Dow. Barry working the baseline, and a foul is going to be called against the Dow High Chargers. Second foul of the game. This time, Hallie Jaster picks up the foul. Jaster, as mentioned, is a sophomore, played last year for Bullet Creek. There's a three-point shot taken by the Chemics, and Midland High on the board, thanks to Anna Tuck, the freshman, who gets a lot of playing time for Midland High. Tuck making the basket, and we've got a stoppage, and I'm not exactly sure what for. One of the officials is over talking. Uh, well, not exactly sure what that was, Tom. Uh, was to announce a uh, delay of game warning? That's what it was. I okay. Must have missed it. One of the Midland High players must have hit the, uh, the ball after it went through the basket. So delay of game warning against Midland was what the uh, stoppage was for. Seven to three, Dow High with an early lead. 3.20 to go here in the first quarter. Shot by Macy Taylor is no good. Rebound pulled down by Jada Garner. Garner will go back up to Taylor, the junior who is coming off a pretty serious knee injury, missing most of the first half. She returned back in late January, and Macy Taylor adds so much to this Dow High offense. Three-pointer by Taylor there. Yeah, and I think it just gives Dow that confidence that they've got a girl that has played heavy minutes in a high, uh, high level games. Ten to three in favor of the Chargers. Shot there by Maddie Berry, no good. Jada Gardner will come back the other way for the Dow High Chargers. Feeding it to Macy Taylor now over to Molly Davis. We do understand the uh, half. Davis launches a three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Jaster. Davis is going to launch another three-pointer, and that one does fall through. It's a 10-point Dow High lead. We do understand that uh, our graphic on the top corner of your screen has frozen. That is why it has not been updated. So we apologize for that. That is not the score, but we've got a... Uh, we had a frozen graphic on the screen momentarily. The score is Dow High 13, Midland High 3. Two minutes to go. Maddie Berry, the ball was tipped, so Midland High will keep possession. So our viewers aren't sure when the touchdown was scored, right? Exactly. Is that right? Okay. Exactly. A couple of uh, substitutions coming in. Another freshman for the Dow High Chargers, Caitlin Murray, will enter the game, and Ashley Hills will come back into the game for the Midland High Gimmicks. And we've got a travel call on Berry. 155 on the clock, 13 to 3 in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Some hot shooting from Dow High and some very cold shooting from Midland High. The story here in the first quarter of this contest. Midland seems to be pressing and selling out for some shots that, that just are not very open. There's a defensive stop. Maddie Berry forcing the steal in the paint for the Midland High Chemics. Barry is a senior, one of the leading scorers on this team, but now back-to-back -back turnovers by Barry. Very uncharacteristic, Tom, the fact that she's cold from uh, shooting on the floor, and she's also had a couple of turnovers. Yeah, and, you know, this is a girl that's uh, highly touted and headed to Grand Valley State uh, ne next year to play basketball. Yeah, very unusual. Uh, she'll settle down. Molly Davis goes inside to Jaster, and Jaster is going to, no, Jaster's going to walk. 
So we've had a barrage of uh, turnovers. And if you take a look at one of the officials, Kevin Sinicki, handing the ball to the Midland High Kimmicks. Alex Warner, Kevin Sinicki, and Shane Petrie are the three officials wearing the stripes in today's contest. This is not the beginning that uh, Jaden Klobes was, was uh, hoping for or expecting. Three-pointer by Jordan Phillips. That is no good. Phillips has really came on scoring-wise lately for a Midland. And there's a uh, foul or a travel. They're going to call a foul uh, against Anna Tuck. That is the first foul uh, against the Midland High Kimmick. We're under a minute to play here in the opening quarter. Dow High leading 13-3 to thanks to the hot shooting of Molly Davis, among other chargers. Three-pointers have been raining in for Dow High. Karis Query, the junior, gives it to Garner. Garner from the free throw line. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound tracked down by Molly Davis. We do need to apologize. Uh, I called Query the wrong name all of uh, the first game in December, but we did find out it is Karis Query. So I'll get the name right tonight. Davis go. charging in. Doesn't get the foul call, but the Chargers do get the rebound, and Query traveled. It appears with uh, 21 seconds to go in this first quarter, Tom, that uh, the officials are uh, keeping a very tight uh, eye on any traveling or turnover violations. Well, a couple of those were pretty obvious. I mean, they're in heavy uh, congestion underneath the basket, and they're looking to try to find an opening, and they've just got to keep a pivot foot uh, lo located. But uh, the officials are, are easily seeing the travel. Final seconds of the first quarter. Millen High has got to get a shot off with one second to go. They're not going to do it. Poor time management. Midland High had the ball just passing it around the perimeter. And, Tom, I'm not really sure why nobody got a shot. And nobody was really screaming for a shot, but nobody took a shot. They just let the seconds tick off the clock. Well, at that point, you've got to have somebody that's playing on the far side uh, on the court, uh, letting the girls along the, the baseline or the arc know what's happening. There you see Jaden Klobes, the first-year coach for the Midland High Chemics, and I, uh, I don't think he was a very happy guy right now, and you can't really blame him because it has not been a very strong first quarter for the Midland High Chemics. The now High Chargers with a 10-point first quarter lead by a score of 13-3. to Glad you're with us here on MPS TV. MCTV staff and volunteers bringing you this production of girls basketball between the Chargers and the Chemex. If you are just tuning in, if you want to watch this game in its entirety, we'll have the dates and times coming up for you momentarily where you can check out all of the action that will air this weekend along with boys basketball and boys hockey. A sports-filled weekend on MCTV, available on Charter Communications and AT&T UVerse. It will also be available on the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel within the next week, and that will be in beautiful high definition. How about this for a stat, Tom? Midland High, 1 of 12 from the field. Dow High, meanwhile, Molly Davis leading the way. Eight points in the first quarter for Davis. She has the ball right now for the Chemex. Dow High also leading in the rebounding category, 9-6. to six. Jada Gardner, friendly roll. That's why you play at home <laughs> once a year. Jada Gardner able to get the bucket to fall through, and the Chargers extend their lead 15-3 to three in favor of Dow High, and we've got a foul called on the Chargers. Well, when you talked about Midland High being 1-12, for 12, and quite honestly, there were only three of those 12 shots that I think Jaden Klobes was happy to see. Well, uh, they just did not shoot the ball well. When you start the game off with four air balls, then uh, yeah, it's, it's hard <laughs> to find your rhythm. Yeah. Molly Davis coming up with a steal for the Chargers, and Davis will lay it in on the other end. Davis had a great game in December. Nice She's picking game. right up where she left off. Davis already in double digits. For the Chargers. Very effective left hand going go to the basket. Uh, she, she's a gamer. Midland High working in the corner. Jordan Phillips taking a couple of dribbles to Anna Tuck. Tuck switching directions now to Maddie Berry. Berry will feed it to Hannah Smith and goes back to Berry. Berry drives the baseline. 
Jordan Phillips, top of the key to Ashley Hills. Hills to Barry. Barry trying to work the baseline again. Barry with a on-balance shot from the right hand. Rebound put up by Hannah Smith, and the bucket goes in. Smith with the basket for the Chemex, breaking a, a scoring drought. They scored once in the first quarter. They score here, and there's a steal by Maddie Berry. Berry pulls up, jump shot, off the mark. Rebound by Query, and the battle for the rebound, a reach-in foul is going to be called against Hannah Smith. And with the okay. score 17-5 to in favor of the Chargers, things not going the way the Midland wants it to go. Jenny Grenwith will come back into the game, Tom, but you know, Midland High has got to be careful they don't get over frustrated well they've got to show a little more patience on the offensive side they're really struggling to figure out Dow's uh, zone uh, Dow is really covering a lot of the uh, the options that Midland has always found to be open and uh, the Midland High is just uh, starting to force some shots that one basket was just a put back off an offensive rebound now, it's sometimes not part of their offense. You get into a situation where, you know, you, you want to do too much too soon. You know that you're down by a bundle. You want to try to get all those points back at once. And obviously, if Midland is to get back in the game, they've got to be patient in doing so. They've also got to stop Molly Davis. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound and a reach-in foul is going to be called against the Chargers. Well, and Dow's got to fight against becoming complacent. I mean, both teams started with a lot of energy, and Dow's gotten a really big lead, uh, the 17 to 5. Uh, but you become complacent, and all of a sudden you, you go flat. But uh, right now, Midland's got to find some offense. 5.25 to go in the second quarter. Midland High tries to work it inside, but goes into the hands of Query, who has played well coming off the bench for the Chargers. Murray's another player that has played well. Now back to the top of the key. Molly Davis goes into the paint, doesn't get the shot to go. Rebound by Anna Tuck. Works it ahead to Maddie Berry. Berry under heavy pressure, can't get the shot to go, doesn't get the foul. Molly Davis will come back the other way, and Davis will get the foul called. I was waiting to see if Possibly a charge, but maybe a carry, maybe a charge, but instead it's going to be the first shooting uh, foul of the game. The foul called against Anna Tuck, which is her second, will send Molly Davis to the free throw line. I didn't have a real good angle on that, but I thought she, uh, she carried the ball. A couple of substitutions coming in. If you take a look at the Dow High student section, braving the weather and coming out for this contest. Molly Davis, the junior, big offensive threat, also plays good defense. She is definitely a player that quite a few colleges have an eye on. As mentioned, she is only a junior. She's going to have a, a few options headed her way within the next year. Yeah, somebody's going to want her to play guard. Maybe not point guard, but uh, shooting guard. 19 to 5 in favor of the Chargers, 440 on the clock here in the second quarter. Maddie Berry working the ball for Midland around to Jordan Phillips. Chargers have played great defense. And that defense leading to a turnover there. And Kyle Tyson getting a timeout called once the Chargers came up with a steal. Alyssa Kepner comes off the bench, plays great defense, and Chargers continuing to have all the momentum in this game, both offensively and defensively. And defensively, you see them swarming to the ball that uh, if, Dow, if Midland High puts their head down, trying to find a way uh, through a crowd, all of a sudden you see a ball being tipped from behind, and then it's a scatter. Uh, at that point, uh, Dow High got the ball, and Kyle Tyson is very quick to, uh, to call a timeout. And uh, this game's just not changing right now. And I think uh, Jaden Klobes definitely trying to find a solution. Um, just not sure. They, the team doesn't seem very settled at this point. Great camera work by our MCTV volunteers taking you uh, into the huddles of both teams. Coming into this game, the Midland High Gimmicks 9-5 and five overall. They are 5-2 and two in the Saginaw Valley coming off a loss to Saginaw Heritage in a game 
that was a lot closer than what the final score indicated. The Dow High Chargers, meanwhile, they are 10-5 and five overall. They are 6-2 and two in the Saginaw Valley. They're coming off a win against Bay City, John Glenn. Molly Davis unable to get the three-pointer to go, and we've got a foul that is on the floor that is going to go against the Midland High Kimmicks. Fourth foul of the game against Midland. That one is uh, going to be on Jenny Grinwith, which is uh, her first. I think Jaster thought that was going to be a shooting foul. There's a uh, there's a shot. There, she if, got her points. <laughs> if uh, if I can't do it from the free throw line, give, them the, give me the ball underneath and I'll get it in. Hallie Jaster with a bucket yeah. and then a little miscommunication as the troubles continue for Midland and they eventually get the ball in. Midland High works it inside and... Well, no travel call, so count the bucket. Hannah Smith, a senior. I thought that was legal. I think she turned the corner and uh, a good dribble get, got her the, uh, right up to the basket. Now the officials thought it was legal, too. Two touchdown lead for the Chargers with 3.35 to go. Three-pointer off the mark from the top of the key, and Midland High will have the basketball. A couple of uh, stats provided to us tonight, Jeff Yoder doing our stats. Midland High, 2 of 17 from the floor. That is not a staff that there's not a coach in the state of Michigan that'll be happy with that stat. Molly Davis already with 12 points. Dow High, 12 rebounds. It has been all Dow High in the first half of this girls' basketball game. Maddie Berry, three pointer off the mark. Molly Davis will have the rebound for the Chargers. Davis works ahead to Jada Gardner. Back up at the top of the key. Davis, three-pointer, count it. 15 on the day, and we're only in the second quarter. Molly Davis is red hot. The Chargers leading 24-7 to with three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Molly could not have been more open. Working inside, Hannah Smith can't get the shot to go. No foul call by the Chargers. With a turnover, that is the first. Oh, no, they're going to say it was deflected by Midland. Oh No, they, they are going to say it was uh, a Dow High turnover. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a smart play. That is, the, uh, that is the first turnover of the game for the Dow High Chargers. They are playing great basketball here tonight. And this is a Charger team. We'll talk about the, uh, the districts in a in the second half, but this is a Charger team that may turn a few heads towards the end of this season now that they're full strength, and they're going to call Kepner with a foul. They're going to say that uh, they got kept the Kepner got uh, Midland with the body. It was a, up top looked good. Well, it, it was pretty congested, and uh, hey, Hannah Smith's a good free throw shooter. So Kepner picking up her second foul, and Hannah Smith will go to the free throw line for Midland. Kepner playing well as she heads to the bench. Hannah Smith will be uh, playing at Hope College next year to continue her basketball. She's good from the free throw line, as you mentioned, Tom, and she hits both of the free throws there. Didn't even hit the rim. 24-9. to Dow High leads 2.20 on the clock here in the second quarter. Jada Gardner, she's just a freshman. Now that Jaster and Taylor are back on the floor for the Dow High Chargers, Gardner can relax a little bit more, although she double dribbles there. But with Jada Gardner not having to carry the load for the Midland High or for the Dow High Chargers, that is something that will allow Gardner to gain more experience. Remember, she's just a freshman. Yeah, you know, and you're you're playing Heritage, you're playing Carmen Ainsworth, uh, Bay City Western. Uh, they put a lot of pressure on the guards, and uh, uh, the guards ha have to kind of learn by by fire, and uh, it gives uh, Jada, Jada a chance to uh, to learn. What well, may have been the best offensive drive <laughs> of the game for Midland High, Hannah Smith able to get the bucket for the Kimmicks, trying to cut this def deficit down to single digits before the end of the first half. Dow High leading 24 to 11. With 90 seconds to go, Macy Taylor feeds it back to Gardner. Gardner is going to be fouled as she tries to go on the baseline. Ashley Hills picking up the foul. Hills plays the role of the uh, sixth person off the bench. 
Charger will inbound the ball. Macy Taylor working to Gardner. Three-point shot. No good. Kimmix will pull down the rebound. Hannah Smith has played well in the final uh, three minutes of this second quarter. Maddie Berry into the paint. Berry gets the bucket to go. That's the Maddie Berry that, that I'm used to seeing. Took her a while to get the motor running, but Maddie Berry is in the score column, and we've got a foul called against Midland High. Hannah Smith picking up the foul. That is the second one on Smith. 50 seconds to go here in the first half of play. That is the sixth team foul for the Chargers. We'll go to the free throw line from here on out, but not needed that time. Molly Davis working into the paint. She has already gotten tonight what she had in the entire first game between these two teams. Anna Smith, though, there's a turnover. Gardner coming up with a steal. Gardner feeds it to Molly Davis. Great hesitation underneath. Molly Davis throwing it in for the Dow High Chargers. 20 seconds to go. And the Chargers back to a huge 28 to 13 lead. Davis has 16 of Dow's 28 points. She is playing phenomenal. Maddie Berry will feed it over. Hannah Smith taking the shot. No good. Macy Taylor with the rebound. Final seconds. Taylor launches one. And it doesn't fall through. And we have reached halftime here at Dow High. And the Chargers in complete control on their home court as Dow High leading 28 to 13. Over the uh, Midland High gimmicks, the uh, Dow High Charger student section, they've got a lot to cheer about. Tom, there isn't a whole lot to say except for Kyle Tyson, the Dow High ladies. They are playing basketball the way you want to play basketball late in the season. And let me amend a stat that I just had. I said 16 for Davis. No, 19 for Davis. So they just have got to put a lot more attention on, on Molly in the second half. And Midland never really got into their offense. And so there's not a lot to cheer about right now for Midland High, but they have a chance to regroup. They'll, they'll need to regroup because it has been all Dow High here tonight. Chargers playing great basketball. We are at halftime. The score, the Dow High Chargers 28, Midland High 13. The third quarter coming up next here on MPS TV. We are back at Dow High halftime of girls varsity basketball here on MPS TV brought to you by staff and volunteers of MCTV about a uh, half a dozen volunteers bringing you the contest here tonight of high school basketball between the Chemex and the Chargers. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell. It was all Dow High in half number one of this contest. Chargers building a 28 to 13 lead if you take a look at the Dow High huddle coach Kyle Tyson has got to be pleased with what he saw in the first half. Yes uh, I mean Dow High moved the ball on, on offense uh, oftentimes it uh, created an opening for Molly Davis and Davis finished the first half with 19 points. Those are two men that you want to know Eddie Henson, Chai Mahabier they are the school resource officers for Midland High and Dow High respectfully I always, uh, always say hi to the uh, men in blue when you get a chance, Tom, because you never know when uh, when you're going to need them. Are they wearing blue tonight, or are they wearing... Well, they're wearing yeah, black. I, I believe they are. No, okay. I, I, it's black, right. but... There we go. Midland High will go to the free throw line to start the third quarter. Anna Tuck, the freshman, will be on the line for Midland High. Delvin get the shot to go. Anna Tuck, not much of a scorer. She is more of a defensive specialist. 5'11", yeah. she's got quite a uh, wingspan. Long wingspan, big hands, everything you want from somebody to play defense. Yes. She handles the ball real well, too. Now the Dow High Chargers not only leading in points, leading in rebounds as well. 16 boards for the Dow High Chargers in the first half. Molly Davis, 19 points. 7 of 13 in the first half for Davis. The rest of the team 
four of 11. It's been the Molly Davis show in the first half for the Dow High Chargers. This time, Dow High had Hallie Jaster trying to dribble in, but loses the ball. Midland High will have it out of bounds. Midland High would like to forget the first half. They were 5 of 23 from the floor, only nine rebounds. Hannah Smith, eight points for Midland High. All of those points coming in the second quarter. Underneath, the Midland High will go to the free throw line. Hannah Smith drawing the foul for the Chemex. And Midland High looking much more poised here in the third quarter. And, you know, it just takes one possession after another and playing it tough, getting to the line. And especially having Hannah at the line, that certainly helps. Uh, that's her third uh, free throw made out of three. Second free throw is good as well. Four of four on the line. She doesn't like to hit the rim. Macy Taylor bringing the ball up for the Dow High Chargers. Now giving it to Molly Davis. Davis into the paint. Can't get the friendly roll. Battle for the rebound. It was going to be won by the Chargers. And Alyssa Kepner getting the board. Kepner has played tremendously defensively for the Dow High Chargers. She's got a couple of fouls, but she's a decent-sized body underneath and able to block people out, get those rebounds. She's played well for the Chargers. Davis from downtown. Three-pointer for Molly Davis, who continues to be red hot. Chargers leading 31 to 15 over Midland High. Into the paint, count the bucket for Matt, for Hannah Smith. A little pinball action with the ball in the lane, and Hannah got the ball and put it up and in. Smith has been the best player for Midland High in this contest. Gardner will feed it back, go to Chester. Chester shot off the mark, but Dow High able to get the rebound. Davis will set things up now to Maisie Taylor. Back from an injury. This, I believe, is her third, maybe fourth game back on the floor. Her minutes still being limited, but she is no doubt getting a lot of uh, quality time and a big factor for Midland High. Kepner will take it underneath. She'll draw the foul. Jenny Grinwith committing the, uh, the foul for Midland. And that will end up putting a Kepner on the free throw line. Yeah, Ke Kepner really plays an aggressive game and likes to mix it up underneath the basket. I think that's why she gets so many rebounds. Kepner coming off a game where she had 11 rebounds against John Glenn. And she's pulled down a few tonight as well. And she also shoots the free throw. She does. Dow High leading this contest here tonight. Dow High 33, Midland High 17, 540 to go here in the third quarter. Midland inside of Smith. Now we'll work it back out to Maddie Berry. Berry has a contested shot, but goes up and over Kepner. Berry from the baseline getting the basket for Midland High. 33, 19, five and a half to go in the third. Garner. Into the paint. Back out to Davis. Three-pointer. Off the mark. Rebound. Anna Tuck. Tuck will bring it down for Midland. Feeds it out. Jenny Gwynwith. Long two-pointer. Doesn't get the friendly bounce, but all by herself underneath. Hannah Smith able to get the bucket to fall through. And Jaden Klobes is going to call a timeout for Midland High. It will be a 30-second timeout if you take a look at the uh, hard-working uh, table crew here at Dow High. 5-12 to go, 33-21 in favor of the Chargers. Midland High trying to uh, you know, come from behind. It will not, uh, definitely will not be an easy task for Midland High, but they're playing better in the third quarter, and Hannah Smith is playing well. Yeah, and she has 14, I'm, I'm told, uh, in the game. And so, uh, yeah, they're... They, they found something that, that's working by trying to get the ball in, into Hannah. Hey, Hannah has uh, a couple times kicked the ball out. And we saw uh, Maddie Berry uh, he get a jump shot from the corner. So things are starting to happen. I think they're feeling a little more relaxed. But uh, we still are looking at uh, Molly Davis. Uh, the last time down before that, that timeout, 
Dow's offense got very stagnant. Molly just stood out there about uh, four feet from the top of the key and nailed a three-pointer. So now, the, the Chargers are still playing great basketball. They've got so many weapons, and you know Molly Davis is having a great game, but Macy Taylor back. Gardner's playing well. Kepner's playing fantastic. They're getting good play off the bench, but from Murray and and Query, I mean, th there are so many players for the Dow High Chargers that are playing well. Although they're a very uncharacteristic air ball by Molly Davis. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's the basket down on our left side. <laughs> maybe that's where all the air balls have been. Thirty-three twenty-one in favor of Dow High. Gimmicks. Will work inside, knocked away, but a foul is going to be called. Karis Query, the junior, will pick up the foul. That's her first, the third team one on the Chargers. You can hear that foul from up here. Well, if you're going to foul somebody, you might as well make it count. Get your money's worth. Three-pointer, Anna Tuck, no good. Rebound, it's going to be Dow High that will get the ball. Caitlin Murray will bring it down court to Jada Gardner. Gardner goes into the paint, gets the roll to go. I don't know that Gardner was looking to score, but she was wide open in the paint, so she puts it up and counts the bucket for Gardner. Got a good roll. 35-21, Dow High leading just over four minutes to go in the third quarter. Baseline drive, no good. Gardner will have the rebound. Gardner, the daughter of Lewis Gardner, who's an assistant coach for the Dow High Charger team. Working inside in a jump ball will be called the first one of the contest. Of course, a lot of people remember uh, Jada's brother, Malik, who played multiple sports as a Dow High Charger. And he was quite a guard who played here. Molly Davis trying to go for the ball, but... Had to go through Anna Tuck in order to do so, and the foul will be called the second one on Davis. At this stage, that's not foul trouble. Maddie Berry will feed it to the corner. Three-pointer, Jordan Phillips. She's a sophomore for the Midland High Chemics, and Phillips has got the, uh, the chance to score. She scored a little bit more here in the second half of the season, and that may be a spark Midland High needs. Dow High will try to answer. Phillips blocking the shot by Gardner, but Dow High will have the rebound and a foul committed on the floor. Well, Phillips has had a game of about 17 points recently, so she's been working into kind of the rotation of the Midland offense. Dow High will inbound underneath their own basket. Back to Gardner. From the elbow, back to Molly Davis to set things up for the Chargers. Davis drives in, able to beat Anna Tuck. Tuck was going one way, Davis says, I'll go the other. And Davis put such good English on the ball, she uh, can really spin it on the backboard. Tuck has the ball stripped away. Query coming up with a defensive play underneath. The Chargers do such a good job of playing their role. The, the defensive specialists do the job defensively, and the offensive specialists do the job offensively, and even the ones off the bench, like freshman Caitlin Murray, who drains the three-pointer, and Dow High has now got a 40-24 to 24 lead. Jordan Phillips tries to answer for a midline, and we're going to have an offensive uh, foul. No, we're going to have a foul called against the Chargers. Was it a captain? Yeah, no. we'll wait to, to find out. It was a Jada Gardner that's going to be called for the foul. Oh, okay. Maisie Taylor will check back in for Dow High along with Haley Jaster. With a full roster available to Kyle Tyson, it's not regrouping, it's reloading for the Chargers. Maddie Berry loses her handle on the ball, and we're going to have a jump ball called as Davis and Anna Tuck hit the floor. It's got to be encouraging to, uh, to Midland High's coach, Jaden Klobes, that the team is still battling. You know, they've got a ways to go. They're down by 16. Uh, this game is far from over. Kyle Tyson is going to call a timeout 
with 221 on the clock here in the third quarter. Dow High 40, Midland High 24. Glad you're with us here on MPS TV, MCTV, YouTube, however you happen to be watching tonight's contest. We're glad you are supporting high school athletics here in the city of Midland as Kyle Tyson talks to the Dow High Chargers. If uh, you'd like to become an MCTV volunteer like uh, that man right there who does a tremendous job, Tom will get into any huddle that uh, he wants to get involved <laughs> with MCTV. You can uh, call us at 837-3474. You can go on the City of Midland website. You can like us on Facebook. There are multiple ways that you can get involved with our productions, and we'd love to have you on board. As mentioned this weekend, you might get tired of my voice because we've got girls basketball, boys basketball, we've got hockey. Next weekend, we've got Northwood basketball, all kinds of sports coverage here on MCTV. Molly Davis, 24 points, four rebounds for Dow High. Leading scorer for Midland is Hannah Smith with 14 points and five rebounds. Deflected off of Taylor, so Midland High will have the basketball. Ashley Hills will come back in for the Kimmicks. Well, Midland High is playing a uniquely different Dow High team now. They've uh, got a little different dynamic. They've got Maisie Taylor. They're taking advantage of the height of uh, Haley Jaster. Maddie Berry, three-pointer no good. Rebound pulled down by Query, who goes to Davis, and they were trying to find Murray, who may have the, the hot hand, but that pass goes out of bounds. I think that may be only, what, two turnovers for uh, for Dow High, right around that mark? Not two, many. Three. Yeah. Not many. Yeah, Dow's played really clean throughout the, the game. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. It's been all Dow High since the beginning of this contest. Perry from the elbow, does it go? Macy Taylor will have the rebound. Taylor, beautiful, almost a beautiful pass. It was intercepted there by Midland High's uh, Hannah Smith. And now on the floor, we're gonna have a uh, foul called. It was almost a beautiful a pass, but Hannah had something uh, to say about that. And they're gonna end up calling a foul on Jordan Phillips. Yep. Midland High will bring Alyssa Kritz into the game. She's a sophomore coming in for the first time for the Kimmick. Now she's a pretty good shooter. Macy Taylor, baseline, off the mark. Rebound. Oh, Macy Taylor can't get the shot to go. Everything oh. but the bucket, and a foul is going to be called. She had a wide open lane but could not score. Yeah, uh, boy, her eyes got large. Didn't realize that she had such a, a sure thing, and boy, you kind of rush it at that point. We've been stuck with a 16-point Dow High lead for uh, quite some time. Both teams have gone a little bit cold. Well, Dow High went cold. Midland's been kind of cold. Yeah, yeah, they, they've kind of matched... Uh, uh, miss for miss for a while here. Taylor nearly had a steal. Well, I can't say that Midland has truly solved Dow's zone, but uh, they seem to be at least uh, more shots are dropping. Just a uh, just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Midland High nine of thirty five from the field. That is. Uh, Quite possibly their worst shooting performance of the season. 14%, uh, 13%, somewhere there. That's not going to win a lot of games. Macy Taylor with the ball. It appears that Dow High may be going for the final shot of the third quarter. Maybe not. Taylor drives into the basket. Doesn't get the basket to go. We'll work it back Go to Murray. Murray's shot is off the mark. Now Midland High will have a chance to get the final shot of the third quarter. Working inside the hand of Smith, and Smith will draw the foul. 
I believe Hallie Jeffster is going to be the culprit. Hannah's been a workhorse for uh, Midland High down underneath the basket. She's had a lot of free throw attempts, and uh, she's made all of them so far. Ouch. You jinxed her. Ouch. The, uh, the, announce, the announcer jinx I, just uh, hit Hannah Smith. Yeah. That is uh, two L's at the end of uh, Tom Bell's name if you're uh, <laughs> wanting to write the uh, hate okay. letters. All right. Uh, and uh, a final E. How about adding <laughs> that? Okay. I don't know. Second free throw. Coming up for Hannah Smith, who had 18 points in Midland's loss against Heritage, and she's the leading scorer for Midland High tonight. Final seconds of the third quarter. Gardner will give it to Taylor. Taylor from inside the free throw line. Doesn't get a friendly bounce, but Kepner is there in perfect position. Alyssa Kepner with the putback, and things continue to go well. Kepner with a smile, and rightfully so, as the Dow High Chargers end the third quarter in control, Dow High leading 42 to 25. That time we are just a, a couple weeks away from the postseason. The girls basketball districts this year will be played at Midland High beginning on February 26th. The Dow High Chargers will play Bay City Western in the opening game for the Chargers who are playing great, having a, a, a little bit of a tough draw. They will play Western at 5:30 on the 26th. The winner of that game to play Bay City Central. Midland High, meanwhile, if you look at Jaden Globes, they will play the winner of the Saginaw Heritage Mount Pleasant game on uh, Wednesday, February 28th at 7 o'clock. And then, of course, the district finals will be on March the 2nd at Midland High at 6 o'clock. So if the Chargers and the Chemics are to meet again this season, it would have to be in the district final after a couple of upsets. That would be a tall order. Uh, you know, I can see Dow giving Western uh, all they can handle. If, and if, if they play the way that uh, they're playing tonight, they can give uh, anybody a, uh, a battle. And that is something that, you know, that Kyle Tyson has said, that you know, now that they're back at full strength, he will put the Chargers on the floor against uh, any team in the Saginaw Valley. Heritage is a different animal, though. Heritage is... Just real solid and deep. Molly Davis, 24 points, four rebounds. Three other Chargers have got four points each, but it's been Davis for the most part. Three-pointer there taken by uh, Emma Meitler, who has checked into the game for the first time for the Chargers. Some different players getting some playing time for Kyle Tyson. Maddie Berry, a night uh, she would like to forget. That three-pointer no good. Hannah Smith with a putback. That is no good. Battle for the rebound won by the Chargers. Karis Query doing a great job powering up. And now Jada Gardner on the other end. Can't get the three-pointer to go. And a foul that's going to go against the Chargers. It will be a one-and-one -one situation from here on out for Midland High. That may be Meitler. Hannah Smith, 15 points, five rebounds. Chargers leading the rebounding category 24-13. In addition to uh, leading this contest, 42 to 25. Well, it's safe to say Midland really wasn't in this game after uh, about uh, two or three possessions. They really struggled, and they just haven't found their uh, their niche as far as uh, what uh, their go-to player. I think Hannah has Hannah Smith has really worked hard uh, to uh, put points on the board. Uh, many of them from the free throw line. Rebound by the Midland High gimmicks. A nice job for a moment by Alyssa Kritz off the bench, but then the Chargers getting the ball right back. But a travel call is going to be on Garner. We've seen that a couple of times where Jada catches the ball and takes a step before she establishes anything. It's, uh, she's only a freshman. Obviously, that is something that she's going to work on, but We've seen it a couple of times tonight. Yeah, you know, you're just so anxious to to get an open shot that uh, your your feet are, are not as disciplined as they will be. Maddie Berry, no good. A rebound by Hallie Jester. That looked like a good shot by Berry. You know, Jester came back in mid-January at the start of the second semester, 
it may be a part of the fact that, you know, Jasper is still learning Saginaw Valley basketball, which is much different than Tri-Valley basketball. Oh, yeah. You know, you've got really good athletes at every position in the Saginaw Valley. You've got a couple teams in the Tri-Valley that, that can say that, but uh, not quite to the level. Shada Gardner left open on the corner. Gardner getting the bucket to fall through. 18-point Charger lead, six minutes to go in a contest that Dow High has controlled from the start. Wide open underneath, Hannah Smith will get the bucket to go. Smith continues to be the uh, the bright light for this Midland High Kimmick team in tonight's game. That was a nice assist by, by Maddie Berry. She found Hannah open underneath the basket. Gardner working the ball for the Chargers. We're back to that 16-point lead. <laughs> underneath, a foul is going to be called. Tuck thought that she got all ball, but got a little bit of arm to go with that basketball. They're going to call it a shooting foul, so that is going to uh, send the Chargers to the free throw line. Hallie Jester will shoot a couple of free throws. Jester is lifted as six foot one, brings a little bit of size to this Dow High Charger team as Maisie Taylor comes back in for Dow. Jordan Phillips has re-entered for Midland. Well, you know, there might be a difference between length and size. I think that uh, she'll fill out a little bit as she gets older, but uh, she gives them really good length as far as reach is concerned, and uh, being 6'1 to begin with certainly is an advantage. Davis with the ball. She's been kind of quiet offensively, but uh, she's allowed her teammates to, uh, to do some things. And no shot. They're going to call it a foul on the floor against the Midland High Chemics. Maddie Berry will pick up the foul. That's just her first. Okay. Inside, no good for Jester. And now a tie up and a battle for the board or for the rebound between Barry and Kepter. Well, Midland is going to have to hit some, some threes here to uh, try to get this game a little bit closer. Dow is kind of sagging in. They're allowing Midland to uh, uh, to get some open shots from the three. And there's, there's one. There's an open three for Midland High. Is that Critz? Yes, That's it was. Critz. Alyssa Critz, the sophomore, coming off the bench. You mentioned that she's got potential to shoot, and she's showcasing that with a three-point shot. She's got a technically correct outside shot. What a move by Molly Davis. Juke and jive wow. in and score in a bucket. 46-31 <laughs> Dow, 420 here in the fourth quarter. And we've got a foul called. Davis, I believe, will be called for the note. They're going to get Macy Taylor on the reach in. And that will send Midland High to the free throw line. Anna Tuck, as we have talked about, as uh, just a freshman. They'll can get the first half of the one and one to go, and we're going to have a foul called in the battle for the rebound uh, that may go against Tuck. It's either Tuck or Hannah Smith. It's Tuck. Tuck, okay. That's her fourth. fourth. Now the second half, Tom, a little bit closer than what the first half was, but you know, Dow High's just playing such great basketball that you talk about games where you want to build on and games where you want to you know, use as something to motivate the players and say, hey, we can play with anybody in the Saginaw Valley. We can go into the districts. We can make a run. This is the kind of game that you're going to point to because Dow High has played so well. Yes, and they've, they've worked the ball uh, with uh, when Maisie was in the game. Well, she's in there now, but uh, when she has been in the game, they've worked the ball. Uh, Midland High had to know where she was. They, they couldn't double-team Molly, 
uh, like they did a lot uh, when they played the first time. And uh, Molly has just really hurt them. She, uh, I lost track of how many points Molly's got. 26, 26 in the game. The rest of the team has 20. But uh, Molly has kind of uh, yielded to her teammates the last uh, four or five minutes to allow some other girls to kind of get into the offensive flow. Great look at Dow High Photo, and now we switch over to Midland High where the X's and O's are being taught. High school basketball here on MCTV. If you're just tuning in and you want to watch the game in its entirety, if you're a Charger fan, you're going to want to. If you're a Midland High fan, you may just may want to skip this one. There but are this, some good plays that uh, Midland High has made, this game but will, not enough of them. Will be replayed on your screen right now, February 10th at uh, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. and uh, February 11th at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. I don't think that's how you spell February, is it? Uh, it is. Okay, you, good. You do have that sneaky R yeah, after true, the B. True. It doesn't look right. Yeah, February. Right. Brr, it's cold. Yeah, exactly. I I, of course, <laughs> I, I, I should know better that, you know, our, our director, Kevin, definitely, you know, he would, he would always have it right. I just called myself out on my spelling skills. Maisie Taylor, no. Oh, hey, Shane Petrie, you've got to catch that, Shane. That is right to you. There is, there is no excuse for that, Tom. When, when you've got a ball right there, come on, Petrie, you've got to make that catch. He was open, too. He, he was wide <laughs> open. Wide <laughs> open. you you got to catch a ball like that. He is, uh. he is definitely one of the good guys and a, a pretty good official and Molly Davis, a pretty good basketball player, comes away with the steal. Davis lays it in for the Dow High Chargers. Well, Three. Anna just couldn't uh, body up to her. She's got four fouls. 28 points in the contest for Molly Davis. Rebound by Hannah Smith, and a uh, reach-in foul is going to be called. That will send the Kimmicks to the free-throw line. Jada Garner picking up the foul. It'll be a double bonus situation from here on out for Midland High. Count it. Anna Smith. Can't believe it. She hit the rim. Second free throw is good as well. She's only missed one tonight, two from the free throw line. I'm blaming Tom for both of them. Okay. <laughs> 2.45 yeah. to go, 48-33, Dow High with the lead. Gardner feeding it over to Kepner, and a foul is going to be called on Midland High. One and one situation will send Kepner to the free throw line for Dow High. That foul, by the way, on Hannah Smith is her third. You know, all good teams need a player like Alyssa Kepner. I mean, she does a lot of the real aggressive stuff underneath the basket. She hits a shot now and again, and she's pretty good at the free throw yeah, line. Every team needs role players. You Absolutely. Know, you, you, can't, you can't have five people averaging double digits every game. You've got you know, people like Molly Davis that shoot. You've got the... You know, the, the coachable leaders like Maisie Taylor that can read the floor perfect and, and you know, help out everybody on the floor. you got the up-and-comer and, you know, Jada Gardner who is learning. And then you got, you know, the, the person that does the dirty work. And that's that's Alyssa Kepner. And it helps when the, the girls that are on the bench right now, they watch to see what's valuable in the game. And those are things they work on in practice. Work in the baseline, but she stepped out of bounds. Two twenty-three to go in a 17-point Dow High lead. There was almost enough room for Maddie along the baseline, but not enough. Maisie Taylor with the ball for the Chargers. Beautiful pass. Molly Davis feeding it in. 
Ah, the Taylor-Davis combination can do some damage when districts roll around. There's no doubt about that. That was impressive. That's a highlight right there. Make a mark on, uh, on that one because uh, we're going to want that in the highlight reel. Beautiful job by Maisie Taylor and Molly Davis. And we've got a timeout now called by Kyle Tyson with 1.46 to go and a commanding lead for the Dow High Chargers. They may, this may be their biggest lead of the game. 19. They, they've led yeah. the entire way, but this, this might be the uh, the biggest lead. Uh, not not sure, our, our stat man, did, did they have a lead more than 19? I'm not sure. Nope, okay. There, so. the, there we go. There's uh, Mr. Poole, Steve Poole, Dow High principal. And uh, no, he is not dressed specially for this game. That is what Steve Poole wears every day to work. He so, does. So I did. Okay. I, I did want to clarify. He's not. He's not dressed. You know, any different than any other day. Nice suspenders. I like those. Yeah. Yipe stripes. He's got them. Now the timeout is over, and the Dow High Chargers. Well, inbound the ball. Midland High putting on a, uh, a press. Well, time to work on some different things at this point yeah. of this contest, and the, the press nearly did the trick. Actually, it might be a little late. But. Well, it's not going to change the outcome of this game. No. But, you know, every, every moment is a teachable moment, and this is something that can be used in, in future games. Yes. Yep. You know, they can... Uh, try, to, try to work on different combinations uh, and Dow may not have their top players in. I don't see Molly in there right now. And I think Molly Davis stayed on the bench after the uh, after the timeout. What a game she had though for the Dow High Chargers. Going inside but now Dow High will pull it back out. Emma Meitler is in the ring for the Dow High Chargers. Caitlin Murray, she's a freshman, working back to Gardner. A minute to go before the Dow High Chargers officially celebrate. A couple of dribbles by Murray, working back out to Gardner. A very young team. There's only one senior for the Dow High Chargers. And it was all underclassmen on the floor tonight for Dow High, and they have played maybe one of the uh, – one of the best games since we started doing basketball games back in the 90s, Tom. This may be overall one of the best performances we have seen by either team. Well, the um, the I, I, I would say Molly's had a really good game. Uh, I don't think it's been as clean throughout the whole game, but um, Becca Mills used to uh, play a pretty good uh, brand of ball when she played. But, uh, yeah, this has been a good game for, for Dow, not a stellar game for Midland High. But Midland High has a lot of their reserves in right now. Final seconds ticking off the clock as uh, Jada Gardner with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. They're not going to shoot again. They're just going to let the uh, time run off and the Dow High Chargers coming away with a victory over Midland High. A little bit of redemption from December. The Dow High Chargers leading from the beginning of the game all the way to the end. It was all Dow High here tonight. They come away with a 52 to 33 victory over the Midland High Chemics. And we talked about it uh, throughout the game. Molly Davis really leading the way for the Dow High Chargers. I believe Davis had uh, what, 26 points in the contest. It was definitely a showcase for her, but she wasn't the only player for the no. Dow High that played well. So many different players that played for the Dow High Chargers from Maisie Taylor being back in action. Alyssa Kepter had a terrific game. Makara Squiri came off the bench and played well. Jada Gardner played well. Definitely a team effort for the Dow High Chargers. The Dow student fans able to celebrate because it was all Chargers here tonight. Tom, quickly, your final thoughts. Yeah, I think Dow played more relaxed because they knew they had two important players 
that were playing for them that were not here when they played earlier with uh, Taylor and with Jaster. That will wrap things up here on uh, our coverage of girls basketball here on MPS TV. Look at Jeff Yoder in the corner of your screen, our stat man working very hard to uh, get us some uh, final stats for the contest. But Tom Bell, we know that uh, when the districts roll around, we know that Midland High is going to play much better basketball in the districts. Dow High, if they can improve on what we saw tonight, it's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting run when districts roll around. It really will will be. I mean, it's going to be Dow's going to be uh, really t tested underneath the basket. But with Maisie Taylor and with Molly at the top of the key, I'm not sure how many teams in the Saginaw Valley or the districts uh, actually have a pair to play like that. It'll say victory for the Dow High Chargers who lead the entire who led the entire way. We thank you for tuning in to high school basketball here on MPS TV. For our entire crew of volunteers and for Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score, the Dow High Chargers 52, Midland High 33. Thanks for watching high school basketball.